What is up, YouTube? Um, no, that's the Chris Bumstead intro. Um, I'm not going to steal that. I just always wanted to say it. But what's going on, YouTube? Uh, today is the first video that's actually going to be dropping on my channel because I was not satisfied with the videos that I produced before this. And I really want the quality of the first one to be super, super good for you guys. But let's hope this is the one I'm really hoping that it is but uh, yeah today I'm meeting Sir Grant down here at Attila's is that him that's not him I don't know he might be pulling up now but meeting him down here at Attila's and we're gonna film uh, I believe a back workout which is gonna be really really nice because I just got back from Miami and we really didn't have the best of luck down there but yeah it was a nightmare but um today's workout should be really good we're gonna hit back and buys and then i believe we're going to cheeto after to film a q a so that should be really fun i was looking at the questions that you guys that you guys dropped on my instagram and uh i was cracking up they're just so freaking funny um, I can't include those because I don't know it'll probably get taken down if I did <laughs> but uh, yeah So I messed up. 
and uh, I lost the footage of the Q&A that I did with Grant, but luckily me and Alex just did a Q&A, so I'm just going to throw that in this video instead because I really need to get a video out to you guys, and I feel super bad that I haven't, so... I hope it makes up for it. All right, so we're gonna look. What is up, guys? Hey, Alex Eubank. Looking here. at this one. Oh, we're looking at this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Not really. Good. So, how do you want to do it? Um, what is going on, guys? Alex Eubank here and Vaughn Walker coming at you with a Q and A. Q and A video. So, uh, we did a little poll on Instagram stories. Got a lot of questions from you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and give our opinions and answers. <laughs> <laughs> what was so funny? What? About look at your facial hair. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaving. <laughs> Just in case, like we'll see how it is on that. If it's not good, then we'll change it. All right. So. <laughs> so, why did you start lifting? You start. I started lifting for like a bunch of reasons. Um, I think like the main thing was that I kind of grew up in like a bad household. So just to get out of the house, um, I kind of just spent my time in the gym just like to stay away from my family because yeah, it was real shitty growing up. But uh, I kind of just dedicated my time to going to the gym and uh, I fell in love with it. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good. Mine's very similar. Um, I was I was uh, a little scrawny boy. I remember what exactly pushed me into it. I saw these guys called Bar Brothers on social media, and they were like calisthenics, like doing all these cool things, muscle ups, and all that. So I bought one of their programs. That's how I get into fitness. And then uh, from then on, the calisthenics in the gym, I just started going to a gym to do my calisthenics, and then I started like lifting weights here and there, and it kind of just got deeper into that. Um, oh, big reason why though, like emotionally mental, bro. I dated, I started, there's like the first like high school girl I was like gonna talk to her, like have like a girlfriend, and she died when I was talking to she her. Died? Yes, and it messed me up. That was like the first traumatic experience of my act, second actually, traumatic experience of my life. And I was like, I had mad anger issues. Like, I used to want to fight everybody. I used to want to, I was in a boxing back then. I like. After she, like, she literally, like, it was, like, the first girl, like, you know, like, when you're in high school and, like, you, like, talk to a girl for a few weeks, you start, like, already thinking you're in love, like, yeah. high school. That's what happened, and she died, like, straight up. Like, actually died. I was, That's I was horrible. 15 years old. I was about to turn 16. She passed away March 16th, 2016. Her name was Cash. I Cash. can't even imagine that. Yeah, so that sucks. So that, that was dark real quick, so we'll go to the next question, <laughs> but that's, that's kind of what, like... I was getting in the gym just because seeing that, but, like, I had mad anger issues, and that's, like, really what forced me to, like, get on, like, I was doing, like, keto for no reason, and, like, calisthenics and all that, but, yeah. Next question. Um, hopping on, on gear, hopping on the, the good stuff. So, we're both natural here. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was gonna, like, make a different video about my opinion on this is for me social media is very kind of toxic it's not the healthiest thing when you do this as a career it's basically my content everybody's content does better when they look shredded and you have a good physique like you get on the explore page or for you page you you blow up a lot more more followers more people seeing yourself means you're probably gonna make more money through your sponsors and everything so that's how like people like me and Vaughn would be like making like money for like our careers basically like the sponsors more people looking at herself you make more money you'll be able to do it as a full-time career so that's why it's tempting for me to like hop on it because i know i'd make more money if i did it but i know a lot of people look up to me for being natural another thing i haven't been able to like get on a full like diet and like a good training schedule because i've been so focused on content for like the last year and a half so therefore my physique has suffered if i didn't do content my physique would be way better i already know it would be i haven't been able to bulk because i'm scared if i bulk content won't do as good but then i have the option of hopping on gear where I can stay lean while gaining size at the same time because I can't really do it naturally. So uh, am I going to hop on gear soon in the future? I don't know a definite answer yet. I'm leaning towards staying natural. I definitely want to. Uh, I'm actually getting a new coach, so hoping he can help me stay natural while doing the goals I need to achieve to be happy on both ends of having a good physique but also making content. None of you guys believe that I'm natural, yeah, but... I uh, so yeah, I'm natural as of the moment. Stop the cap! <laughs> um, I've really been debating on going on it, or not going on it, um, but I 
think I'm gonna have to reevaluate my decisions um, about it. Well, you want to compete, um, right? Yeah, but um, I've been talking to a lot of people, and uh, I don't want to die young, yeah. so. Um, I don't want to mess my body up by hopping on it, but I also do want to compete. And if I do compete, I'm going to compete to win. So um, I'm not really somebody that goes like half ass on things. Yeah. So if I do, um, I'm sorry, but I might have to. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we're going to believe that he's natural with the physique he's got right now, I mean, imagine what he'd be like on gear. You know, that's how I see it. Cause I'm not gonna. When I saw you at Iron, you told me he was natural. I was like, I told him, I was like, yo, he's he's bullshitting. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Like, there's no way. Uh, um, nah, I was yeah. always like, like a like a bitch about it. Like, I was super scared yeah. to. I feel like my anxiety is already bad enough. Like naturally, I couldn't imagine like on gear. That's the issue. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a different thing. Like, I'm definitely not gonna be. I maybe will compete just for YouTube series. You want to compete, right? Yeah, I want to like, want bodybuilding pro? compete. Yeah, that's one of my that's biggest thing, goals yeah. is to turn pro, and I cannot see my physique turning pro. Turning pro naturally. Like, I, I feel like I have a good, good physique, but like, it's just appealing to like regular people. Like, yeah. a bodybuilding judge isn't gonna see it and be like, "Wow, he should be an IFBB pro." It's probably if Jermaine was able to be the IP pro naturally like he says he is. Again, like I don't know if I believe everybody, but Jermaine looks amazing if he is natural. Like I, I'm not gonna say if I do or I don't, but if somebody had a gun in my head and they were like, is he natural? I love Jermaine. If you're watching this, bro, I love you. Like you're an awesome guy. Like I'm not even trying to hate, but like some people's phys that's how I know your physique is so good, because I'm like I would probably say like there's no way he's natural, but like I see when he people, could be, when he people could be. say it, it's the, one of the biggest compliments. Like it feels yeah. so good. That's what I'm saying about like, you. Like when you tell me you're a natural, I was like, I didn't want to be mean and say, but I like was like, yo, he's lying straight to my face right now. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Um, no. But it's a compliment. It's just like that's yeah. how you know you really got like a good ass physique. And I hate when I see people in comments on TikTok. They're like, people like will debate if I'm natural or not. And there's always people that'll say. Uh, he's not that big. He's definitely natural. He's been the same size <laughs> for two years. And it makes me, I get, I'm like, damn, like, might as well hop on gear now. All right. Next one. Getting over a breakup. Okay. You go first on that. So I'll go, um, I've been through many, I've had many relationships. I've always been a little, little lover boy, like a little, uh, always, I always, I never had like good friend groups. I was always a loner kind of. So I always was in a relationship because I needed like somebody to get, I always had, I just had abandonment issues growing up always. I always, I always had to have someone you feel like that constant support yeah support. i needed someone to feel like they needed me yeah. you know what i mean like they wanted me and like i had to like i all my free time was gym like video games and i needed like some type of like emotional support i definitely have like mental issues from like my childhood so. we don't care let me tell you right, <laughs> let me the last year when i blew up on social media was um i got like i got played <laughs> like i got i got <laughs> completely i was just i'm always like a good guy too i'm a simp and because i was a simp i got <laughs> Taking advantage of like many times all within like a six month period. So uh, I got shredded. <laughs> I got straight up shredded. That was like the latest I ever was last summer. And I blew up on social media and I ended up using, instead of like listening to like the sad songs, like just doing nothing, I listened to the sad songs, but I got yoked off of it and I used it to push me. And I was like, I'm going to blow up on social media. And I did. And I look back at all those, uh, the girls who like played me and I'm like, I'm doing so much better than like, I would never go back to like any of that. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, no, I feel that. But uh, if it's like a big, like a long-term relationship breakup, obviously it's a little bit different. It's definitely different. That's when it hits you more deeper. When I was like just doing like the girls like I met just for a little and it would, it would, uh, it's easier to get over. Um, but when you're like actually with somebody and like they're your person, like you fall in love and stuff like that, that is difficult. And that's when you have to have like, a feel like a good Do you ever friend group? Were you ever actually in love? Like, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say like once Okay. or tw like, I'd say like now, like twice, yeah. twice, twice, I'd say. Okay. What do you just like once? Yeah, yeah. If people always think they're in love so quick. I've definitely said it more to like multiple like, but that that was more like they say it and I said it back. Yeah. But I know like, like I really wasn't. Just like a meaningless word. Yeah, and like high school yeah. too stuff. Like I don't I don't count that. So um, but getting over it, I think having a good support group, friend group, having uh your family like if you're like close to your parents, let them know about it, ask them because they've been through many more relationships than you have your parents probably. So getting advice from people is good. Staying occupied That's the biggest is thing. key. You'll spot because when you when you have a bunch of free time, it's the only thing that you're gonna think about and it's gonna make it a hundred times worse. Yeah. Yeah. But. 
and uh, have something that you're growing on. Humans are addicted to growth, you know, like that's why like video games are so addicting. I love reaching that max level and stuff like that. So as long as you're doing something that you're growing in, you're shooting towards a goal, and you're not like staying the same, you're gonna most likely be able to get out of that hole of like if you're depressed or anything. Fake daddies in the industry. It's back. This is a great one. So, um, what? <laughs> Um, um, are we gonna just expose people? How so are we like, gonna do this? I don't even know. Like, I don't know for a fact. I know like people who are like definitely. I've heard people say that they're like not natural, and they claim to be before. This is the issue. If you're in this, and if you're in the fitness industry, and and you are natural, or you're not natural, and you're claiming natural, like in your videos, your posts, your YouTube videos, you are you're a messed up person for that. Because then you, but if you if you don't like a lot of people, they'll be smart and they just won't say anything. If you don't say anything you're fine you know what i mean but if you're claiming it while you're like that's when it gets like messed up because then people get like misled misled that one thing i saw on tiktok was justice and heather they like broke up i don't know too much about the kid so like okay well he's on huge so we're on okay. the same supplement company called alex um and basically uh his ex posted a video saying how she pinned him like because justice apparently was like talking trash about heather um if you guys don't know these people like, basically he's like just pretty he's been doing good on tiktok and everything cool guy like i definitely I like him. I don't know much about Heather, um, but so I'm not gonna like pick a side or anything. But like the fact that she posted that, I was like, yeah, that's rough. No way. Like he is mad strong. Like I don't know. Like he could be natty, could not be natty. But Have the you fact that like, no. Oh yeah, I did one time. Does he look like? No, he looks. He looks nat naturally attainable. He's not like a valley. He definitely has like a good physique. It's okay. just that like the fact that like a girl will go out the way to like risk herself to throw it on social media that she pinned him is like he, either she's. Then it can't, it could just crazy. be like a clout chasing thing too. Yeah, that or, or yeah. So I, I don't know, but like, there's a lot of people, I'm pretty sure who any, anybody watching right now, who probably look up to some people in the industry who claim to be natty, and they're probably... Most likely not natty. Mo yeah, most likely really not natty. Not and like, all. it's sad. And that's why I, I get pressured to feel like I need to hop on too to do what everybody else is doing. Um, but I always try to be different. Yeah. But uh, I mean, specific people, I don't know if we can call call people out but um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um yeah i mean yeah i don't have beef with anybody yeah. so i don't want to expose like but i'm pretty sure if you look at everybody a lot of people i'm following in the fitness industry i'd say about 80 percent of them you're gonna look at them and then you think they're natural they're not yeah so i don't follow too many nat naturals hattie's natty if you guys didn't know that hattie is you don't think he is though right uh. hattie's natty I don't know. He he just looks really good. Um, I don't know. Pretty sure I, I trust the kid, so like I, yeah, I have to. Pretty sure Nathan's still. I've been talking to him, but like he, when I saw him last a few months ago, he was he's natural. Um, that's about it of all the daddies I've met. <laughs> Everybody else they <laughs> isn't anymore. So um, that not it's very good. obvious to tell like when somebody's natural or yeah. <clears throat> and the big like I hate that like people say if I hop on gear they're gonna like they'll like stop supporting me I'm like that's messed up you know what I mean like, yeah especially when every that. other fitness influencer they follow yeah. is on gear you know just because I'm being yeah. truthful about it like you're gonna you know what I mean that's so stupid anyways uh, goals so you gonna do like together goals and then like separate like short term like what do you wanna do um I mean we could talk about like 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 our similar goals or like what we're both trying to achieve within the next year and then we can like branch off into yeah simple simply simply said is blow up on social media make it a profitable yes. thing where you're making good money from it so that you don't have to ever think about going back to a nine to five job um move out to a crib together with the boys get like a little clout house um in texas or something like that um, produce a bunch of content yeah hella content um like make our own vibe too not just like everyone want to be different than everybody else's yeah. stuff so a lot of like lifestyle content <clears throat> um bodybuilding we'd, we'd always have different niches the solid group we have right now would be me vaughn hattie nathan and then my the guy who helps me film joey he's really cool too so we're thinking about doing that um maybe i feel like that's like the most solid group I yeah. can think of right now. I don't know who. I can't really see anybody else fitting in there. Yeah, like I, based on like the vibe, because you and me vibe good, and I vibe hella good with Hattie and Nathan, especially when we we're in LA. So like I know that would work great. So I don't know if you guys have any ideas for other influencers. Comment them down below. Um, who would you guys want to see us 
film yeah. content. We're also gonna maybe do a thing. If we have an extra room in the house. I was talking to Hattie about this. Is maybe we'll rent it out to like somebody. We'll like let influencers come in, stay for a month at a time or something like that. If people like want more content and they just want to like meet more people, they maybe we'll be open to that. Um, so we don't have like a set group. Hattie's main issue was like he doesn't want to like have to be forced to live with people he doesn't he doesn't like. So um, that's why I was, he was saying like maybe rent out like one room for like some random if like another, yeah. we needed more people for money or something. Hattie and Nathan are like cool, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So that'd be a solid group. Um, so that's a similar goal. Um, and yeah, and just make it a full time career. Businesses. Businesses. Make, yeah. You know, make our own like supplement line, clothing lines. Obviously, we have sponsors now, but like big picture, I don't want to. I just don't want to be an uh, influencer with the code for my whole career. Yeah. I doubt you do either. No. Yeah, we want to make something for like for ourselves Longevity, rather than, you know what I mean I mean I love representing a company right now but I can't see myself doing that like forever forever yeah, as like a main source of income yeah like at the end of the day like too like I like I again, I love the companies I'm with but at the end of the day like you're pretty much making them in this industry you're making them more money than they're you're probably getting from them yeah. for the most part um, so like, you know, if you were to do it yourself, there's more longevity to it. There's more personal support and more drive because it's your actual brand. So that's what I hope to do in the future, the next few years and with everybody else. Um, especially we need this house going, we could all come together and make like some dope brands. And, uh, hopefully like everybody, we get our like own, fo all, all our followings together and everybody supports it as one. Um, so yeah, it'd be like the goon squad. They're like the, <laughs> the goon squad, but I'm telling you, um, but yeah. so more you get, individual, individual, um, yeah, you're going to compete. So one of my biggest goals as of right now um, is that I'm really focused on turning pro. So I want to do my first show within the next one and a half to two years. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn pro in that time. So like I really shouldn't set like a like a time limit. Yeah. yeah. But um, Speaking that's of something existence. that I really want to do is yeah. <clears throat> IFBB pro. So. 25 for me short term I want to uh, get a Corvette the C8 Z06 by the end of next year uh, I'm a big car guy I know probably some people think it's probably stupid to like think about cars if you lease something like it's really not that expensive like I if would I don't you have be leasing it yeah I would okay, lease it. Okay. like I, I don't have like any expenses as as is because I still live, live with my dad but that's why I like like cars um, is that I would lease it so like it wouldn't be like that bad of a financial decision it's just that I want that car I see it and I want it and, like when I got my mock, like when I got the mock, I saw it when it first came out when I was in like high school or when they were first like teasing it. I was like senior year of high school, freshman year of college. I told my dad I was going to get it and I ended up getting it. So like I like positively speaking things into existence, believing I'm going to get it and then believing that if, if it's in God's will, he'll give it to me. Um, I hope that's not like a greedy thing. Like, oh, I want to get a Corvette. Like no, it's not no, like no. I'm not even like that. Like I'm money driven, but I don't, I don't need to be like stupid rich. Like it's just, I love, I have a passion for cars. I think I mean, everybody should set it like a goal like that because it's something to work work towards like uh yeah obviously like the house and everything comes first but like again if, I, if i'm blessed enough and get skies well like that's like a yeah. short-term goal also just to keep it like short term like i said blowing up yeah. the socials i want to get like 100k on youtube by the end of the year um 200k on instagram by the end of the year and i'll be very very happy so what are you at now 167 yeah. youtube 71k i think anxiety depression <coughs> um, how about how, have you dealt with that yeah i have like i said uh Towards the beginning of the video, I didn't really have the best home life. Um, my dad died when I was about oh, yeah, I forgot about 13, that. yeah. And that was really rough for me. I went into like a super, super dark like stage of my life. And it, it was really hard to climb out of. But um, I finally did. And then my mom started dating again. And she just started dating the wrong people. And uh, mm. yeah, that was rough. Um, it, that was fun. That was horrible. Um, we, my brothers and I, we ended up having uh, abusive uh, stepfathers for like our whole life, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, that really, that really hurt us. But um, the gym pulled me out of that. Um, that kind of fixed my whole depression, everything, because it gave me. The ability to like focus on myself rather than letting like outside like forces affect yeah. my uh, affect my well being. So yeah. the gym helps. Yeah, that's uh, I didn't have an exact like my dad died. Obviously, that's that's I can imagine that. Yeah. 
But uh, I had, if people have seen, like, who's watched this, you've probably seen, like, my my video that's pinned on my YouTube channel is my life story. And that's where I go over everything that happened in my life. Um, so you've watched that, you probably know how my past was. And if you've seen my, my testimony with Christ, that's another part. You've probably seen how down bad I was. I struggle with, I still struggle with sometimes with it. It gets, comes back every once in a while. Derealization, de depression, anxiety, all that stuff. Um, I believe Jesus came and saved me from that. Um, I was, I wanted to off myself and, um, uh, God came and, you know, gave me new life and a new meaning. And I'm here, you know, like literally a year and a half, two years later. And I'm like doing like motivating and helping kids out who struggle with the same thing. And I'm telling you, if you're going through any of that stuff right now, and like, the thing is you, you're going through, you go, you're going through it. And like, you think you're the only one that's going through it. Literally, like, you're not. like, NF to shop the new song in his album, and he talks about, like, like you're not the only one going through this stuff. Like, there's so much people, there's people, people are not open anymore. That's why I'm so vulnerable and open to everybody, because people see me as, like, oh, he doesn't have any problems. Like, he lives this perfect life that yeah. I want. Like, I still struggle with stuff on the inside always, and I'm vulnerable about it, because I want you guys to know, like, hey, if he went through stuff like that, and I'm going through it right now, maybe I can get through it, and I'll be able to get to where he is one day. It gives, yeah. like, motivation that you can get out of that dark, that dark, like, path that you're in. For me, like, I, I would I would literally go in my room, put like worship music on at nighttime, like on my knees. My dad had no idea any of this stuff would go on. I'd go on my knees crying, praying to God to like help me, to give me meeting, to save me, and stuff like this. And he, and, he, and he did. So if you're struggling with that, look into, you know, the Bible. Like pray to God. Ask him to like come into your life and to save you. Um, it's got my shirt on. It says Jesus loves you. He does. So, um... Yeah, we got. I gotta show you some worship songs later. It'll make you cry. Right? I would cry. I'd play my guitar and I'll sing worship music and I'd just start bawling because like I, I I I knew it. I knew what was going on. Like, you nice on the guitar though. I used to be. I gotta start playing again. <laughs> I used to. I used to be kind of wicked on it. Yeah. But, but um. But, uh, yeah. If you got. If you, got, if you guys have any like, like questions on like how to go through stuff or like you need advice, like don't be afraid to ask. Yeah, like the DMs, the DMs are always open. Yeah, like I try, I try, like even though we get like a ton, like, I still like try like yeah. spend time to go through and answer some of them. And then whenever I get one that says like how I help them with something, I always screenshot it. I always screenshot it. So I have a wall in my basement with a lot of those. <clears throat> what motivates you? Low key for oh. me, like it could be, it's not even like fear. It's like more of just like fear of a nine to five is probably part of it. I wouldn't say fear. It's just I want to be successful on my own terms. Yeah. Um, a big thing for me too is like I like my whole life I never wanted to be like everybody else so yeah. like I feel like this is a good way to like like be unique in a way kind of <clears throat> yeah but also I, I love thinking about how like people who went to high school with used to call me like muscles and protein or like they used to look down upon me and be like yo what's wrong with this kid like he just like lifts weights and like plays video games and they're probably looking at me now like yeah. oh Damn. shit Alex, like, Alex Eubank, he's, it's, dude, he, it's people funny. follow him? It's funny because, like, I kind of went through the same thing, and now those people are reaching out to me, like, asking for advice and stuff. Yeah. So, like, yeah, it's like, it's like, I laugh when I see it, but, I yeah. don't know. That's dope, though. If you know me yeah. from high school, you know, I probably knew I was, I was a little nerd in high school, but, um, I was a shy little kid, know. too, like, how to grow your chest. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Me, I'm gonna tell you right now. Actually, no, you go first because your chest is better than mine. Look, <laughs> you gotta... um, one of, like one of my favorite moves for chest is uh, incline dumbbell. Nice. It's something that I hit every single chest day. But um, one of my like, it's not like a weight movement, but like a body weight movement that I do that I'm in love with is um, like chest focused dips. Love this. It blows the shit out like your outer yeah. pec and it's like it feels so nice people sleep on dips yeah. bro i'm telling you i built off my home gym alone like if i could pick oh, before i tore my labrum this is pre labrum tear because i was able to build up a lot of my chest before that and the labrum tear made me change my way i lift is um i would do wide heavy flies like very heavy like wide on a flat bench like just open up my rib cage and chest i feel like dumbbell that's what I'll, like, I'll do dumbbell it's okay. really because I used to watch Arnold a lot, so like that's what he would do. And I would do that a lot of times almost before my bench presses. Then I would go to like incline dumbbell after that. So my chest is already pumped up. I did the pre-exhaustion yeah. stuff. It's good to get that blood go. into your chest before you do like yeah. a heavy movement. I never too. benched like I never benched like super like heavy, heavy just because I would do so much pre-exhaustion, but I swear like I would feel it so much more in my chest when I went to the incline after I did the flies. And then I did a lot of dips, like you were saying. And that's yeah. stuff I'm telling you. I used to bench very wide grip too, because Arnold did. I did all I did everything Arnold did for his chest. I used to bench stupid, I mean, dumb it's, it's wide. It's a good I can't chest anymore. to model your, 
your physique after. So yeah. like, because it's so wide, like everybody yeah. just builds that wide. I feel like that's what helped me with mine. So that's like biggest tip I, I can say. And for like work workload per week, like I try to hit chest twice twice per week, um, and like do at least like at least I would say like twenty like sets. Twenty sets. Volume. Okay. Per week, so like every workout, if you're hitting like if you hit chest twice per week, like push full leg split, I would try to do ten sets of chest. Okay. Not all like working sets. I'd say like hard working sets, like twelve a week. Like hard balls to the Got wall. You. you know what I mean? I don't know what your stance is on volume and shit, but like. Um, I always just. <clears throat> um, I stick to like heavier weight, like lower reps. So like. I don't know. I'm probably around that same like, like, yeah. set range, but. Some of this stuff might not work for you guys. Um, it's probably better to find out what works for you and then yeah. uh, just I think if, like, really focus on that. Because it's like my muscle connection, I feel like. Yeah. Some people like will do exercise, they don't even feel it, and they're yeah. like, yo, I feel it's only my front delt. I'm like, don't do it then. Yeah. Because like, yeah, it's like, really easy to hurt yourself. Um, and yeah. the shoulder is something that gets hurt very easily, um, especially with like bench movements or um, like flies or anything like that. So uh, just be cautious and like find what works for you. Do gains get girls? No. <laughs> no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell bro. Like I said, I had a video like on my new TikTok. TikTok banned my, my main, if you guys didn't know that. Email, support the TikTok account and tell them give me back my old account. <laughs> Cause it's really upsetting and it's hard. It mess. It He's down me. bad yeah, right now. I really, I dwell on it and I had to make a new account. And I did have a video hit like two million views, like a simple one of me flexing. Comments, all guys, all dudes. Oh, I'm gay now. Oh, I think I think <laughs> like, this dude just turned me gay. I'm like, bro. I was like, maybe a new account. Maybe I'll like reach the, like the female following. I have a seven percent female following like ratio on my Instagram. Seven percent women. It doesn't though. It doesn't. Really doesn't. Maybe when you get shredded, it helps a little bit. Cause like it's easy. I can post up in a picture like send an ad pic to a girl and it's more like it's like more like a thirst trap i guess yeah but like better than being skinny but like overall it's not gonna help you if anything girls are like because we do the omega videos it's like all oh, like dad bods I'm like you idiot like yeah. why probably like, the biggest thing that a girl likes is like a like a good personality so like if you're trying to get a girl definitely the gym helps but um try to like work on like smooth talking them i guess yeah, I'm bad at that now. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm horrible too. Yeah, you gotta uh, get Hattie. Hattie spits game apparently. So, shout out Hattie for that. He'll be the really? Nathan too. Like, they'll be like the people who pull women at the crib. <laughs> Nathan will just be chilling, watching like movies or something. And Hattie, and Hattie, and Nathan uh, will be pulling a new girl in the house every day. That's funny. Um, but yeah, are so. they are they like deep in relationships or have they been or like? Nathan is not, not that I know of. Nathan's so funny. <laughs> That's up, uh, bro. I, I have some funny stories about Nathan and um, when we were in LA. I can't probably say. Um, Hattie, uh, he's not. Hattie, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say, but like, I don't think Does Hattie's he have a girl? Like, I, I think he did, but I don't think anymore, though. Okay. Or if it, anything, it's like a iffy. I don't know. Gotcha. I don't know exactly. I forgot Hattie's exact situation, but Hattie's definitely a free man. I'm pretty sure he's a free man. So. Hit him up. Not you dudes gotta chill. Yeah, dudes don't hit them up. Yeah, we're all straight males. You know, yes. they look like two guys in the same room. You know, but um, but. very. I'm straight. You know, I'm very yeah. straight. Get your head out of the garage. Yeah, I got rainbow keyboards and stuff, but I'm straight. So. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notification on. Let's hit 100K by the end of the year. I'll put Vaughn's channel down below in the description if you want to go check him out. Should have his video out hopefully by then. If he, he's awful with technology. I'm so bad with technology. I'll, so, I apologize. Um, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna drop soon. I promise. So yeah. So thank you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Jesus loves you. Till next time. Love you guys. All right, so if you guys got this far in the video, I really appreciate I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna try to post like one or two, one or two times a week, um, depending on how good I get with like editing. I'm just so bad with technology, but until um, next time, I love you guys.